All right, so everybody, uh, I posted um, a rod holder idea on to a bunch of the Facebook groups, and people have been asking me, well, how'd you do that? More details. And instead of typing up a whole bunch of explanations, I figured I'd just give you a quick demonstration. So it's a three quarter inch uh, PVC T. I measured this pipe, went to Home Depot, the pipe tubing was like uh, 0.78, so a little bigger than three quarter, and I figured, okay, I'll cut a slot, it'll click on there, be good. Well, I bought three quarter inch PVC T, and that obviously is the outside diameter of the tubing, which then becomes the inside diameter of the T. So that didn't work. But one of the neat things, I keep looking behind me, uh, when I put the three quarter inch T together with a one inch T, what was neat is it fit perfect and it fits snug. All right, and I bought a one inch T because that's gonna fit 90% of my poles will fit a one inch T. So when I put that on there, now I can throw in that rod and voila, we are cooking with gas. So now we can fish that pole. Uh, how do I fix the fact that the um, three quarter inch T had a larger uh, ID than the OD of the tubing? I made a bushing. And what better material to make a bushing out of than duct tape? So these are slipped on, took the pole apart, slipped these on. They will stay on there. Uh, in my opinion, these are all pretty soft and they will not cause any harm to my fabric. Um, and then the tees, uh, for now, they're substantial uh, fit. So they're staying there pretty good. I think they'd be fine. Um, if they do loosen up, piece of tape on there and you know, shore it up with a, a new bushing. And uh, so that's uh, the way I put it together. These then go in the baggie. And I think 59 cents on the three quarter inch T, and it was like, like maybe uh, 80 cents for the one inch T. So very affordable. And I uh, set up three so I can fish three. And I think I could get my whole space that I could have, you know, one jigging hole and two dead sticks at different depths, especially when I'm uh, laker fishing. I want to put one up high for maybe a salmon or if I'm uh, after some rainbow trout or even pan fishing. You know, keep one up high, one medium fish, that whole water column and uh, give it a shot. So, hope this helps. So real quick, the last thing uh, people ask me about is um, my LED uh, light in the ceiling. It's just a 600 millimeter um, LED strip light uh, from Amazon. So that LED strip light uh, can be plugged in to my battery box, but the camera reaches there. This plugs in, comes out, and I've operated it off of this. Uh, let's see, this is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery at 5 volts. I've operated it for upwards of two hours. And uh, it doesn't seem to, you know, do that bad of a deal. I did originally buy color changing ones that I could go through for a red light or if I wanted green light. Um, and, uh, but they were only 24 inches long and I wanted to do a strip. And also the car charging cable was a little shorter. So this eventually will get wired so it can go into my battery box and that's switched. But for now it just goes on this and then this slides right into one of the uh, mesh bags on the side of the uh, tent. So that's how I've uh, tricked my trap.